You know what's great? When someone asks you for a solution to something and you can just pull it out of your bag and you have the solution there, it's the best feeling when you MacGyver something together and it just works. And that is actually what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna talk about five things that you should probably have in your kit. They're small, they're not that significant if you just look at them on face value, but they do become quite valuable when you've got them in your kit on set. The first one's a pretty obvious one, and that is pocket tools. A Leatherman, Allen keys, screwdrivers, that sort of stuff. I own a Leatherman Surge, and I've got to say it's the best purchase I think I've made for my kit, gear included and all. And there are definitely cheaper ones out there. Leatherman is just a brand and it does come with a price tag, but I can highly recommend getting a Leatherman over other brands. I've used other brands in the past and they certainly didn't feel safe when I was using them and I didn't know the perks of having a Leatherman, but when I forked out the money and actually got it, wow, um, the differences are extreme. There's a huge jump in quality and safety as well. A lot of other utility knives that are discounted don't really have like lock-off systems for the knives or even have any way, any safe way of putting away something sharp like that, aside from pulling out every single tool to loosen everything off and then pushing everything back in again. Some sort of utility knife is a must for any kit. I mean, you've got everything you need there. You've got a variety of knives. You've also got screwdrivers. Some of them even have scissors like these ones here. And you've got pliers to be able to grip anything that you've got on your kit gently. But another thing you should think about getting besides a Leatherman is actually a good set of Allen keys. And having a fold up set like this is a really good idea because they all stay together. It all folds up neatly in a small package and you can throw it in whatever bag you happen to have. Lots and lots of accessories on cameras do require Allen keys and having them on you is a absolute must. Even though you think a screw is as tight as it possibly can be, it can work its way loose and it is important to have something on hand that can help you out. If you do happen to have a camera with different accessories from different brands, you'd be surprised how many of these you will actually use, metric and imperial. That's why it's good to have a large range, and if you've got a large range that folds up in a nice little neat kit like this, you're not gonna lose any. I do have one more option. If you're looking to cover most tools just for now, this is actually a really good idea. This is from Small Rig. It comes in a cute little case like this, but I think the case is absolutely useless. But it's just a multi-tool that uh, has pretty much everything you need. There's multiple types of Allen keys. There's also a star key in there. There's a Phillips head screwdriver. There's a flat head. Well, yeah, a flat head screwdriver, good for tripod plates. But yeah, it's a good little selection of tools if you're just looking for something to get away with what you've got right now. And it's really not that expensive either. Velcro. Having Velcro straps and spare Velcro is really invaluable. You honestly won't realize how often you actually use this until you get on a long form production and you end up going through a whole box. Strapping one thing to another thing happens on a daily basis. There just isn't enough accessories or variety of accessories out there at the moment that suit every kind of situation. And I doubt there ever will be. That's where Velcro comes in handy. So it's a good idea to have a variety of Velcro straps for your cables and a good selection and maybe different widths of Velcro hook and loop tape. I like to keep mine in a clear pouch with a pair of scissors. That way I can just cut it to size whenever I need to. Crocodile clips, well, clips and clamps in general. Think of all the things you could clip to other things using crocodile clips. I don't know if these actually have another name, but I've always heard them as crocodile clips. D do you guys have a different name for them? Let me know down below. You can clip weatherproofing to your camera. You can use them to hold things to a trolley, to a slate. There's, there's so many things you can do with these and it's useful to just have a couple on hand. It's also a good idea to mark up that they are yours so when people do inevitably nick them you can steal them back. Bit of a different one, this one is for the ACs out there and that is B and C connectors and a variety of them. So you can get right angle connectors, you can also get T connectors and you can get barrels, all of them used for different circumstances. You'll be surprised how many of these you go through on set because they do break 
very often being a moving part. So I highly recommend getting a, a whole bag. SDI is commonplace on set and more often than not, your monitors are going to be running SDI. It's highly unlikely they'll be running HDMI. Whether your port is just too hard to reach and you need a right angle to get in there, whether you just need to extend or connect two different cables together, or maybe you need to split off the signal into two different signals. And another pretty obvious one, that is torches. Highly recommend getting two different types of torches, having a little LED spot torch like this, and then also having a head torch is a really good idea. Not only helpful if you're shooting at night, if you're shooting in a studio, these can be very useful as well. If you're assisting, you can use them to shine on the slate so that you can actually see the slate, or you can just use them in general, getting around and looking in your kit or looking in the truck. That is five different small but useful items for your kit, I hope you enjoyed that video i hope you got something out of it if you do have any suggestions please feel free to leave them below and if you actually have anything that i have missed which i have because i only wanted to include five in here but if you want to add anything comment down below with what you want to add so thanks again for watching and i'll see you later